Young Chamber is a new government initiative in the UK that aims to provide a channel of communication between young people and the business world. It gives them a voice, and with this voice they can express their ideas and even set up their own enterprises. Here at Avonbourne School, a business and enterprise college in Bournemouth, three teams are presenting their business plans to an expert panel of judges. Welcome to the Dragon's Den. Six dragons lay in wait for their victims. Selected for their wisdom and experience, and having forged successful careers in their own right, they were perfectly placed to investigate the strength of the business plans on show and ask exactly the right questions to challenge the teams. Joining the panel were two budding entrepreneurs already on their way to becoming great business minds. Bidding for a share of the available £1,500, the pressure was on. Each team needed to convince the Dragons that their idea had a winning strategy and could make a profit. First to face the Dragons was Studio Phonic, a rather musical team wanting to buy professional recording equipment to use in both their music lessons and recreationally for the whole school and wider community. Singing to win, their presentation was well planned and professional and the Dragons' questioning was met with careful and thoughtful replies. Next up saw the creatively named Busting for a Wee take the stage, quite literally, as they took to the controls and demonstrated a swimming game to the judges. They wanted five Nintendo Wii consoles for the PE department, planning to set up an after-school club charging 50p a session. Last but not least came the third team, Spotlight who showed just how much they needed a device to communicate behind the scenes during their school shows. The Dragons deliberated over which team should be awarded the money, while the pupils gathered their thoughts on their presentations. I think it went really well because we, you also saw, saw people in action do, playing on the Wii, so you see how like, it makes a person half fit. I think everybody had a, a really active role as well, so we all answered questions, and that was natural. We actually all knew different answers, so yeah, it was really good. I was really proud of it. Um, I think it was quite good because they didn't ask a lot of questions, which showed that we gave them enough information for them to be satisfied with that. After much anticipation, the awards were finally made. £540 to busting for a wee and £960 to Studio Phonic, who couldn't wait to get started. We're just really pleased because our product can be used not only in school but with communities and feeder schools. And actually it was the only product that could be used elsewhere. So would you recommend this experience to other pupils? Yeah. Yes. yes. So yeah. What do you think the best bit was about it? Dragon Sam Ambridge from Dorset Business was more than impressed with the pupils' efforts. The level of preparation that had gone into them was, was just great. Um, the, the company name for Busting for a Wee was obviously inspirational uh, and it gave uh, a lot of us a chuckle when we, we saw the business plan come through on the fax machine. Um, but the level of involvement, the planning obviously that they'd all gone into um, and just the confidence as well. I couldn't have done that when I was the year seven people. By taking part in Young Chamber, they're developing their business skills from a very early age, possibly without even realising that they're doing it, and it's all about confidence. So, fingers crossed, all of those involved today have got bright careers ahead of them. Young Chamber is a pilot project that appears to be proving its worth from the outset inspiring young people and giving them a vision of what lies before them in the world of business and industry. And who knows, they really could be the next Anita Roddick or Richard Branson.